have a camera girl. Camera girl, come here. Just say hello real quick. Hello. This is our camera girl. So she'll be in the background. Her name is Ronald McDonald. Yep. Hello, guys. How are you? Oh, yes. In my hair. What? <laughs> Let's get to the story. So I've told a story kind of similar to this before. And it was called I Pee My Pants in Public, Pee My Pants in Public, something like that. Link down below. This story was set back in second grade. And my teacher, she was kind of like, like when I when we went into class, the first day she was like, if you need to go to the bathroom, like you just you can hold it, you can wait. Don't ask to go to the bathroom. Basically, it was just like very strict about us leaving the classroom. Like we weren't allowed to get drinks if we wanted. <laughs> She's making fun of me. She was kind of an ornery little thing. Like there was a time where, <laughs> be careful. <laughs> Do you need to go pee? No. Be sure. No. I think you need to go pee. We're gonna have a pee and pants story right here. <laughs> My pee is gone. She had yelled at me before. Like, so she kind of scared me. Anyway, we used to play this game in elementary school called Sparkle, where you get on top of the desks, and then if you have like spelling tests, you spell a word and then sparkle, and you sit down if you get the letter wrong, or someone says sparkle, and you're next. We are playing that game, and I was sitting down, and I had to go pee really, really, really bad, but we had probably like five minutes left of class, because I was scared of her sitting there holding it, trying not to go pee. We were almost done with the round, so I was like, okay, we're almost done with this round, and we have one more round, and then we'll, it's break, it's recess, and so I can just hold it till then. I guess I didn't realize how badly I needed to go pee, and I let loose. The dam broke, and the river's kinda flowing. Embarrassing. Luckily, our seats were put in a way where we weren't right next to someone, so no one would have heard me, no one would have like seen it. It was a lot of pee. And I just sat there, deer in headlights. Had no idea what I needed to do. It was like on cue. The last person got out. It was like, hey, everyone get back on your seats. We're gonna start over. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> You won a prize, so I was like so badly wanting to play and win because so I wanted a prize, but I didn't want to sit up because I was like, I know if I sit up, I'm just gonna be dripping wet. So, no. I think she came up to me and said something, and I was like, I pee my pants. Night and day change in her face from like, girl to, oh my gosh, girl. She definitely felt really bad. So, everyone gets back up, they go through the thing. And then everyone was like kind of looking at me and I think they kind of like something's wrong, you know, when someone doesn't participate, everyone's going to watch them. So everyone got up winter recess and she came up to me and she's like, well what happened? And I said, you've told us that we're not supposed to ask if we can go to the bathroom, just like to hold it. So I just tried to hold it and I, and I didn't realize how badly I needed to go and she was like, well, if you really need to go to the bathroom, then, then go to the bathroom. And I was like, I just don't want you to yell at me. She felt so bad and was like, well, let's call your mom. And my mom was working. I was like, well, my mom's working, so she can't come get me. And she was a long ways away, like through an hour and a half of us away. And I started to cry because I was so embarrassed, so mortified. She called my mom anyway, and my mom felt awful. And we ended up calling um, a family friend of ours, and she came to the house and picked me up. Luckily, the classroom that I was in had a door outside, so I didn't even have to go through the hall or anything. I could just go straight outside and go into the car and not have to walk a far distance. So she got there probably like five minutes after she, my mom called her. It was like so sweet, and I went and sat in her chair, and I was sopping wet. She took me home, and I think I don't even remember if I went back to school that day. I don't think I did. I got off her car seat, and there was like a ring of my butt, like a butt print of pee. <laughs> I was mortified. Yeah, it was like seriously one of the worst experiences of my life. Teachers, if you're a teacher, don't like scare the kids into asking if they can go pee. That was awful. I just knew if I asked, she was gonna get mad at me. That was my experience of peeing my pants again, and I think 
That's the only other time that I feed my fans. So, watch my other story. That one's a little bit more intense, and that one's a little bit more funny. Let me know if you've ever done that, if you've experienced that, or if you've had a teacher that was like that. I really appreciate it. So thank you so much for watching, and if you want, like, share, or subscribe, whatever you want to do, it's up to you. Bye, guys. But I don't know if I'm, I slightly am, and I'm just like in denial. Hey, guys, here's a look into the story. And I, um, you want to be in the story on the bus? I was trying, trying to think out, and I was trying to when I was a frog, I was a frog. You were a frog? Yes. Yeah. I was a frog forever. <laughs> and I was a pet. Then I got... My, I was a... The two in tomorrow. I just was a frog. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so cute.